house. Imagine you are a police officer. There are four people, four victims. So not victims, four people you are suspecting that, you know, like one of these four can be the criminal. Three are fair, four is a little dark like me. You will directly not say, oh, this guy is the criminal, right? No, you will find the clues here as well. Find the clues. Sky became clear. Sky became obscured. Both can fit in. Give it a thought. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, everybody. Now from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with it. Another video. Today's video is all about that reading fill in the blanks. I don't want to make that extra mistake. Whenever I do, I end up getting four out of five or three out of five, but never five out of five. What could be the reason and how to get that far out of five? Today's video is for those people who are struggling in reading fill in the blanks to get that far out of five. And trust me, this five step formula that I'm going to unleash in today's video will be a life changing formula. All you got to do is you have to make sure to watch the video till the end. So before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance. Do WhatsApp us to the number given that it's a paid assistance. You can text us, we will be there, I'll be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right, so let's get straight away into the video. Let me just share my screen. How to score five out of five in reading fill in the blanks with this five step formula. So one by one, step by step, I'll be unveiling this formula. Let's talk about the step number one. See, as soon as you, you know, get a reading fill in the blanks, you start reading, start solving, but before that, remember this five step formula. Just go step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and see whether you can get five to five or not. The step number one, be aware of the traps and don't fall for them. Let's say in front of you, there is a big swimming pool. <laughs> you have to swim, right? What do you do? You just get into it directly, fall for it. Don't do that. Either you have to jump or take a boat or go in a different direction no no directly falling for it be aware of it so what i mean by this when your mind knows okay there is a trap there is a possibility that i may end up making a mistake when you are aware of these things when your mind knows okay this thing can happen then you don't fall for it 90 percent of the people belong to this category directly falling for the traps take your time two minute timer solve it so let's see how many of you are falling for the traps. So once done, resume the video. Pause the video, do it. Once done, resume the video to understand where have you possibly fell for the trap. So if you avoid them, formula number one, step number one is, you know, like properly done. All right. So what you should not be doing basically is this. The path began to dash into earth. 90% will write descend into earth or slithering into earth or clear into earth people fall for it we'll explain what is the correct reason what is the correct answer the path began to dash into earth as if burrowed so you have a past tense so here also some past tense or basically after a verb after a two verb one has to come but the entire sentence in the past tense in ancient times by the dash of a giant worm people write by the descent of a giant worm by the wind of a giant worm so it's the possible trap we'll continue the dash became still air so obviously it's talking about air the atmosphere so probably the wind became still is the correct answer the first two we will come back and understand the traps the next one see here up ahead as the passageway become deeper and the banks on each side reared higher the sky became dashed by the branches of crooning trees so this is the classic example of a trap. Many will read the sky became clear. Why? What is the clue? Don't simply fall for it. Open your eyes and see, oh, there's a big swimming pool. There's a big pit. I should not jump over it. People are not opening. You're not blind. You're not blindfolded. See, read. The sky became dashed by the branches of the trees, which in a couple of months would be flush with the green canopy. It becomes like this. It becomes like this. It becomes like this, full of trees. The sky, will you be able to see the sky? No, only trees are visible. You cut the trees, probably I could see the sky. Sky became clear is a trap. The sky became obscured. Mustn't. So this is what I'm talking about. Be aware of the traps. Don't directly fall for it. I know many of you who have done it would have written clear. Sky became clear. Correct, right? So this is this is what I'm talking about. The step number one is be aware of it and avoid them. How to avoid them? Find the clues. 
read branches of the crowning trees crowning trees with the trees how will you able to see the sky so obscured hope you are getting it completing the dash of a little completing the illusion illusion of a little hidden netherland nether world so the first one the path began to dash into began to dash into go into descend into the earth as if burrowed out in the ancient times by the dash of a giant worm the big worm because of which the path has been made probably it was moving because of the movement of a giant worm there is a path from the sky to the earth the movement has to come the movement is slithering well second one is not the trap i'm talking about first one is not the trap i'm talking about it is the fourth one the trap that i'm talking about first and second are pure context based okay so here obscured people end up getting clear be aware of such traps that's the formula number 1 you need to be aware that okay these kind of things will be there let me just read next let me just find the clues imagine you are a police officer there are four people four victims so not victims four people you are suspecting that you know like one of these four can be the criminal three are fair four is little dark like me you will directly not say oh this guy is the criminal right no you will find the clues here as well find the clues sky became clear sky became obscured both can fit in give it a thought that's exactly what i'm talking about be aware of the traps and don't fall for them and try to implement this in multiple fill in the blanks whenever you practice so approach is the thing that i'm talking about in our course you get the approach outside website practices you only get things to practice nobody tells you the approach as a result you practice practice 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 what is going to happen you decide that's the step number 1 formula number 1 second step apply grammatics whenever required try doing it in 2 minutes i'll explain you how to do it so possibly you can just consider the half part let's not talk about this this i have got for the next slide let's talk about this one and two you can do it like this so apply grammar wherever possible this is the step number 2 in the five step formula Pause the video. Try doing it in one minute, and then resume it to understand whether you have got it correctly or not. After ye, noun has to come. A portrayal, a boy. Oh, the adjective. A good boy. A great boy. A good boy. A killed boy. A ventured boy. A depicts cannot be an adjective. A disposed. portrayal no meaning a profit portrayal no meaning assess portrayal no meaning it has to be vivid vivid image means very clear it's a vivid portrayal means the portrayal the way they are portrayed is very very nice so what i'm talking about is this can be used by a grammar technique vivid is an adjective this is a verb 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 noun verb verb no other things are an adjective if you know the concepts of nouns verbs adjective adverbs you can do it like this you don't even read adjective has to come vivid is adjective this is first see here author bhaisham saini so noun vividly is an adverb after a noun a verb has to come he runs he quickly runs he runs he quickly runs he vividly explains s -s 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 remember this subject verb agreement after noun you add s to it that's exactly what the grammar technique tells you in our course grammar itself is more than 20 30 hour of courses there so like this multiple things are there so here author bhaisham saini vividly dash the atmosphere vividly depicts that's the only thing with this ed can come he ate is also correct he killed but he cannot kill the atmosphere he depicts the atmosphere changing in a violence wracked village as a plain circle he is an artist he is trying to depict portrayal portrayal second one has to end in s and that s is this s hope you are getting it depicts only has to come here vivid only has to come these two if you knew the grammar you could have solved it in one not one minute less than 10 15 seconds difficult ones you take time simple ones you solve like this difficult ones i take time nakul simple ones also i take time then it becomes difficult correct within the stipulated time you will not be able to solve it as a result you will rush and miss it all that's the step number 2 apply grammar techniques wherever required hold on step number 3 in the five step formula check if collocations can be used check if collocations can be used in his 1974 novel okay sorry on that pause the video 
this we finished already so let's talk about this and see if collocation can be used pause the video do it 15 20 seconds and then resume the video to understand if you have used the right collocations people dash out the fighting seemed were went everything is in past tense people is a noun after noun verb has to come verb 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 disposed out you don't say disposed out killed out ventured out means trying the best to go out and see venturing is trying the luck to see it's uh, ventured out is a collocation so now people who know this would do it like this and the grammar thing verb two only has to come ventured out gonna be for the three bodies were disposed after were ed has to come verb three you have killed disposed bodies were killed no you cannot kill the body bodies were already killed so they are called bodies bodies were disposed so bodies were disposed is the collocation people went back to the houses to dash their losses i need to evaluate my profit and loss to assess their loss all collocations check if collocations can be used and do it quickly remember the very first technique is be aware of the traps don't just fall for it second one apply grammar techniques whenever required third one check if collocations can be used fourth one hundred percent patience nakul i have minus infinity percent <laughs> patience this is the problem so um pause the video try doing it and then resume the video to understand where possibly have you seem to be lost this is the guy one who has it will get the marks so it's not about english this is a character pause the video and do it and then resume to understand all right i have hoped i hope you have solved it if you live anywhere affected by the recent heat waves you may well have spent your nights dash and turning keeping and turning something you may have spent your nights sleeping how turning tossing so here ing is there here also ing has to come dreaming and tossing so here if you live anywhere affected by the recent heat heat waves you are full of heat will you be able to sleep no so of course dreaming is the wrong answer it should be tossing and turning people do right when they were they sleep when they don't get the sleep trying dash third technique third step collocations trying out okay where is this patience 100% required say this studies on everyone from captain it is so easy to write captain man but if you have patience and think okay what if captain is wrong let me just find the close on container ships to welders yes is there so here also from these people to welders or from a captain a is not there captain cannot come here plural has to come so seafarers so this requires patience this is nothing not english no you, you you need not have to study in an english medium to do this it's pure character if you have that patience before selecting you just have to think for a second this is the fourth step before locking the answer give it a thought i'm doing it correctly is there any other possibility this people will not think directly they write captain because captain means ship sorry one two three sorry sorry this is going to be third one this is wrong seafarers means people who travel by sea that's it <laughs> all right so if you have done all these things and still not getting it the step number 5 is no gut feeling tak 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 don't listen to the heart use this this seems to have rusted because we are not lubricating it we are not using it much we are relying on our heart pause the video try doing it and then resume the video to understand have you used your brain or have you just relied on your gut feeling fashion in india is a dynamic okay they're talking about fashion they have kurta pajamas sari lehengas they're talking about clothes ever evolving landscape that seemingly blends tradition with architecture hey how many of you wrote architecture do leave a comment in the comment section many why architecture is building house fashion is wearing dress i have got a t-shirt today okay, that's fashion so blend tradition with style style is that flair style is the flair that's the first one people write architecture because heart says with a rich tapestry of combination of cultural diversity india's fashion scene is a dash of is a combination of color texture style another word for combination is kaleidoscope 
people write architecture relying relying on your heart kaleidoscope what it does you 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 see it like this the line the the light just enters it and then you see different different colors different combination of colors textures and styles is a kaleidoscope of something traditional architecture if where is the architecture where is the sari it is traditional dresses we need dresses dresses is attire no gut feeling rely on this a uh, dash a uh, noun a uh, boy a uh, journey conducive is an adjective conducive means helping a conducive person this is wrong a transformative architecture 100% wrong has witnessed a journey a transformative journey so this gonna be for so all i am talking about is no gut feeling rely not on the heart but on the brain things will fall in place so these are the five step things that i am talking about the first one is beware of the traps there will be a big pit right in front of you don't fall for it second is apply grammar wherever is required use collocation whenever possible patience need to be 100% not 99% the last one no dug 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 hard rely on this i really hope this video made sense these are the five step formula that i follow that all my students follow for a perfect 90 overall you follow it definitely i see i believe you also see a great improvement this is nakul signing off from skills pd how you like the video do leave a comment in the comment section what videos you want me to do next do leave a comment and if you like the video leave your appreciation with a thumbs up soon i'll be back guys till then take care bye bye